It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New Orleans Saints and the Indianapolis Colts. And it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, the Colts coming off a tough year, just four wins in 2022. You think that they can compete this year in the AFC South? I do, because I think it's a wide open division. Brand new head coach, brand new way of doing things, likely a brand new quarterback, and a defense that I think is a little bit on the underrated side. So yes, absolutely, I think they can compete in their division. And then for the visiting Saints, you know, most people might not realize this. You talk about defenses against the pass last year. The Eagles Super Bowl team, they were number one, but coming in at number two, these New Orleans Saints. Remember, they're led by a defensive-minded head coach, and he plans really well on that side of the ball. Want to see if they can continue that and find some firepower moving the ball on offense. Get strapped in, it's just about time to get the party started. And off we go on EA Sports. And the tackle gonna be made right there at the 25 yard line. The Colts offense set to go to work and they're led by a guy who's bounced around a bit the last few years, hoping to find a home with Indianapolis, Gardner Minshew. Even though the Colts went quarterback to start the NFL draft, they wanted a veteran under center this season. They tap Minshew as that guy. The mustache and the mullet are in the Circle City, and he is their starter. Now the NFL's leading rusher in 2021, Jonathan Taylor. Now he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. They had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Minshew sets to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. So now an early third and 10 here on their opening drive. Off play action, it's Minshew. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. On fourth down, the Colts will call on Rigoberto Sanchez for the punt. Deep for New Orleans is Rashid Shaheed. That's pulled in at the... Now a hit and a loose football. And the Colts pick it up. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. I don't know why, but it's always agonizing to me to see a guy make a mistake in this phase of the game because you can t it's, it's all on him. All eyes there. He's got a chance to make a punt return, and instead, he ends up putting it on the carpet. Puts it on the carpet. The little rubber pellets shoot up. Never a good sign for a returner on this field turf surface. No, not at all. And a bunch of them go up when they're all trying to get to the football, don't they? Tackle there going to Marshawn Lattimore. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 32-yard line now, here's second down and seven. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. 
back-to-back -back runs. I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Looking to throw it. Minshew. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a coach first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So the completion there, Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allowed a completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him, because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Minshew. Over the middle, hauled in by Pierce. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short gain. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. The Colts send out their new kicker for 2023, Matt Gay, for the field goal. And Gay knocks this one through. And the Colts hit the scoreboard first. It's 3-0. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it. They didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. Able to give their defense a little bit of rest. Let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So here come the Saints to take over for the first time. And here's the new man under center after nine seasons as a Raider. Derek Carr is the guy. It's going to take some time to adjust to seeing Carr running out in a new uniform instead of black and silver. It's black and gold. 35,000 yards and over 200 touchdowns with the Raiders. The Saints more than willing to let him air it out all game long to a talented group of pass catchers in the Big Easy. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 29-yard line. From the 29, here's second and four. In his seventh season now, here's Alvin Kamara. And give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Again, it's Kamara. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. DeForest Buckner in on the tackle. What an advantage having an elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Second and 10. 
Now Carr. There's Chris Olave. A big time play there for New Orleans. 41 yards. It's early, but announcer cliche alert here. Big players make big plays. Should I say in big games too? Ah, oh, what the heck. And this defense, they're gonna have to find some way to slow him down as this game goes on. Because when this combination is going good, they can tear your secondary apart. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. Dances by at the 20. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five yard line. A little over 20 yards there, and in two plays, they've now moved the ball over 60 yards. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. It's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Camara will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain, two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. That is caught by Alave. Touchdown, New Orleans. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Saints have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Point after here coming up. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Now Minshew. A short one there, caught by Granson. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. They're going to look to throw. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. He'll look to throw. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. They overload him that time on the safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass, and when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. 
They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. From the gun, Minshew to throw. Out of his hands quickly to Pittman. That he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down. They gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. On first and 10, here's Carr. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Kamara up the middle. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 52 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Now they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. On first down, Carr. He completes it to Alave. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run. Big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? They, let's, see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And not much running room. Down to the 32. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for it in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. To throw, it's Carr. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Colts pick it up. The big man get the oxygen tank ready. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll go down at the 28. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. 
Second quarter now from Indianapolis with the homestanding Colts in possession. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Back to throw here. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Now Minshew on first and ten. Connecting over the middle with Downs. Down he goes at the ten with a solid pickup of eight. Second and two, first down marker at the eight. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Colts are once again back in front. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead is now 10-7. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it, because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with the run so far. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so they can gallop through it, but in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. And Thomas has it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Throwing on first down is Carr. That'll be taken in by Shahid. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Card out of throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 23 yards on the play. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. The car is so complete there to Thomas. And that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Up 
to throw his car. Over the middle and complete to Shahid. And that'll be enough to keep the drive moving forward. Another first down on the pickup of five yards. Now, car again. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. On that snap, he's a hero of his defense up to the play he just made. A one possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. Now, Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. A tenth carry for Camara, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Oftentimes, when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Car going to throw. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he will not be able to get the first as he can get this only down to the five. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. Here we go with Kamara. Takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Alvin Kamara, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Saints' decision to go for it pays off with six points. You get down this deep, Charles, you hate to settle for a field goal. They roll the dice on fourth down, really just hoping to get that first. But as it turns out, they take it all the way into the end zone. You mentioned that they took a little bit of a gamble there. Think about it this way. Most teams throw the ball in this situation in the NFL, so they really gambled with a running play, and boy, did it pay off. Pay dirt. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is now 14-10. to 10. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch. And it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive the last into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. From the 25, here's second and six. Minshew's going to keep it himself. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Minshew sets to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized his offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then, but they're showing signs of life here, and they get good yardage that time and a first down. Yeah. 
Out to the right and complete to Pittman. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Looking to throw it, Minshew. And his throw here is incomplete. Alec Pierce, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Off play action, it's Minshew. This one to the sideline, he's got it. A nice job to keep the feet in, but he is a bit short here of a first down. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it'll be fourth down. Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic for not much gain than what we just saw there? Did you see how his toes got down? Tip-tap, tip-tap, got him down. But what did he get out of it? He sold the sizzle. He just had no stake. <laughs> I mean, was it one yard? Yeah, you plays like that, you at least expect a first down there, just one yard. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. That is hauled in by Michael Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Camaro. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Camara gets it again on second down. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. 72 yards rushing now for Camara. It's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Now a play fake. Carr finds his man. That's Alave on the crossing route. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. Now on first down, they run with Camaras. He'll take it forward for about three yards. Second down coming up. Up and they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. They run it again with Camara. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down at the Colts 22. remaining in this first half of football. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Throwing now is Carr. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Saints first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. Gotta say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Into the red zone, it's Carr. 
throwing middle, but it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll drop to throw. That's complete to his running back, Camaro. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. He's had success running the football, and this is more or less an extension of that because they drop it off to him on the screen. And I'll bet he's thinking to himself, if I didn't have to slow up a bit here in traffic, I could have really made something out of that one. And they need two. Here's third down. On play action, it's Carr. Looking for Thomas, he's got him. Touchdown, New Orleans. 10 yards on the touchdown pass. And the Saints go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes it a 21-10 game. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Now Minshew. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Here's Minshew. He'll get this one to Pittman get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. <laughs> Throwing on first down is Minshew. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So from the 36 now, first and 10. It'll be Minshew again. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. He was true on his first, this a tough one, from 49 yards away. Gay's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Saints out on top as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. 
All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We just watched a solid first half from the veteran running back, Alvin Kamara. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. And able to get this out to the 25. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. And despite the turnovers, Charles, and they had multiple in that first half, they still have the lead as they begin this third quarter. And they probably heard some conflicting tones at the half, don't you think? A lot of praise for what they did to get this lead, but also a little bit of scolding because they got to take better care of the football in the second half. But you and I both know the great leaders, they know how to give that little bit of vinegar in there and cover it with a big dose of honey. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. But when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play. Huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. Here's third and three. Here's Kamara, wiggles free. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 95 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. Now Carr. They'll get this out to Kamara. Only able to gain a couple there at its second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now Carr throwing on second down. Finding Johnson on the out route that's complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 31-yard line. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Now Carr. Thomas brings it in. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now. And that throw, maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming. And they pick up another first down. Now a first and 10 at the 11. To throw his car. His pass caught at the four. Touchdown, Saints. 
third touchdown pass now for Derek Carr. And the Saints take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead is up to 15 now. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that can make this a three-possession game. Now a second and ten. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun is Minshew. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Oh, I don't know if he sent in contact to come or what, but that's a ball he'd love to have back. That could have gone for big yardage, but it just didn't want to stay in his hands. That's a tough break. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They start the drive on the ground, Kamara. And ultimately, this won't go for much, maybe a couple, but boy, he showed off that make-you-miss ability that certainly is in his arsenal. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want, and other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. Now this throw caught left side. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. A give. This is Kamara. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Second down, and it's Kamara again. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down at the Colts 22. 106 yards rushing for him now in the ballgame. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. 
And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Now Kamara. And I don't think Kamara got there. Looks like they stopped him short. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. They run. It's Kamara. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. He's been tough for this defense to handle over 100 yards. You kind of knew that they were going to him on that play, didn't you? They certainly did. That's one of those situations where you simply say, my best runner over my best blockers. Let's go ahead and pick it up. And I don't care if they know it on the other side. Here we come. And they got it done. On first down, Carr. That'll be taken in by Shahid. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll bring up second down. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. On play action, now Carr. Back at the 15-yard line. Samson Abuka able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And you get the feeling, Charles, yeah, he's got the two sacks now, but he may get more here. We still got a quarter and then some to go. And the way that he is playing this game, it reminds me of one of the best golfers in the world who can use every club in the bag and make a great shot. That's what he's doing with his pass rush moves right now, showing a little bit of everything. They have no way of stopping him. On second down, Kamara shifts by him, and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. So now things get interesting on third and goal from the one. This almost becomes a Darwinian call, doesn't it? Almost survival of the fittest here. I know we can go all cliche. I'll go ahead and do it. Who wants it more here? Who has a better leverage at the line of scrimmage? Let's go and see what happens. Yeah, Williams is going to be stopped short of the yellow line. He did not get there. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. And this one is right through. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. From the 25, here's second down and three. 
Looking to throw it. Minshew. And his throw is incomplete. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Minshew sets to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. First and 10. First and 10, Taylor now. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sip through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Final minute now of the third quarter. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. To the right side, complete to... And now look at this! Big game, but a fumble! And this is picked up by the Saints. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. I know a lot of defensive coaches have certain guys on their squad that they look to as drive stoppers. Guys who can make big plays, interceptions, knock it free. In this case, they didn't need one. The offense supplied it for them, just dropping the ball. Yeah, and that was after they were doing so well on this drive through the air. They go to the ground, does it work? Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. We've seen him be good so far. He's hoping to continue that trend here in quarter number three. And typically when you see guys running it this well, they see the game in slow motion, don't they? They see the cuts happen. They see the blocks happen. They feel really good about their vision. And then they use their legs to find that open space. And he's had some good help up front to boot. At the Colts 42-yard line. Now second and three. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. Out of the backfield. That's complete to Kamara. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down, five out of nine thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down, a nice run right there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Jet sweep. Here's Alave. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big, or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that, because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. And that is no good. He gave it a good run. That was
has it more than a foot or so wide to the left. And this will remain an 18-point lead. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. Minshew, first and ten. That's going to be caught by Allie Cox. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A good pick up there, a 22. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Now Minshew on first and 10. That's complete to Pierce. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. First and 10 at the 27 yard line. So, signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They'll go play action here with Minshew. That is incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Here's second and ten. Now Minshew. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Jonathan Taylor. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Colts have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. Just a full-play drive that time. And it was all finished off by the Jonathan Taylor touchdown catch. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Unable to corral him, he fights through. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Well, the focus goes back to Chris Alave, the Saints offense. Let's see here, Charles. Six catches, over 100 yards. Call that a pretty good day at the office. And I love the accumulation, the catches, the yardage. That means he's having a pretty good impact on this ball game and really helping his team out in a big way. He wants the football again, right? And it's funny because some of these receivers are very vocal about how much they're getting it. Others are quieter, but they still let you know, give me the ball, I'm going to make a play. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And he'll get it down here to the 43. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. When you decide to run a hitch route, it really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Kamara try the right side. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. This is how offensive coordinators earn their money. He throws ahead of the curve after first down. Got seven yards first down play, but then you get stuffed there on second down, maybe just a yard out of it. Now your advantage has evaporated. Third and two. Play action. 
direction. Now it's Carr. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now that's a big pickup right there, and so often we focus on how the quarterback's faking on play action. How about everyone being in on the deal and picking it up? Second and third levels, you can see them trying to recover. They bit. Worked out offensively. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, but sometimes the other guys make a play against you. What's that expression they like to use in the NFL? Those guys get paid too, you know. Yeah, in college they say, hey, they're on scholarship too in the NFL. They're getting paid too. With the day he's had, you can have one go in the wrong direction. Carr able to locate his running back, Kamara. And this time, not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is a modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Now Carr. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Well, that takeaway partner right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we can make a play, we give our, team, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. Minshew and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 at about the 32. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Now that's into the hands of Mo Alley Cox, the tight end. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second down and three. Here's Minshew. Hits his target, the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 28. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle, that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. They try to run on first down, but this defense says no dice. They stop them a couple yards behind the line of scrimmage. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. They'll set up to throw. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was ripe for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. The Colts on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third down and 12, and he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. Well, look at the clock. You're down two scores. Have to go for this, don't you? And they thought that as soon as they took over possession. It didn't matter where they were on the field. They were always going to be in four down territory. Backed up in good situation. It didn't matter. So they've been preparing for that on their play sheet the entire time. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And the Saints will have the football back. Here comes Michael Thomas and the rest of the Saints offense. He's been a load for them to handle defensively. I know that much. 
a look at him. He's got seven catches on the game, and he's starting to shred them a little bit because not only is he catching them, he's picking up good yardage, keeping the chains moving, ball control, you name it. This big guy, what did you say? He's been a load for them to handle? That's right. He's Agreed. A, a seven catches, as you said, over 100 yards. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Again, it's Kamara. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. Try to run down some clock with Kamara. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Third and three. Now Carr on the bootleg. And he will have a Saints first down. It has been a struggle, but it's looking like that'll be the one to seal a victory for him. Game in hand, the offense takes the knee. Thirty-eight yard line, second and eleven. Here's Camara out of the pistol. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Car down to a knee, and that ought to just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And a little bit of a surprise, they lose the turnover battle, but wind up winning the ball game. And this is very unusual because you know all teams stress winning the turnover battle as a key indicator to winning ball games. So when you get something that goes against the grain, like the one we saw here, it's quite the oddity. Now let's face it, they'll be very happy that they pulled this off, but they do know that in the future, 